some of the theology and the understanding and the meaning behind the symbols in the church, and and we tend to lose the significance of what's behind it and lose track of it. Um, we find in, in Revelation that. Jesus criticizes in his letter to the church at Ephesus the, the people for losing their first love. Mm -hmm. And they get distracted by the programs and the things and the stuff in the church and they lose focus on why we're here and the very roots of our faith. And so we thank Elizabeth for helping remind us of that this morning. Uh, let's take just a moment as we do each week uh, to pause and reflect on our week and think about our shortcomings and where we may have uh, not satisfied the Lord in everything that he expects of us. And then we'll join together in the prayer that's written in the bulletin and on the displays. pray. God, our God, most holy, holy friend, friend, although we have tried to serve Christ well, and on occasions have accomplished some loving and beautiful things, much remains undone. Around us in the world, we see gross evils which disturb us, and within our mind and heart, we recognize the starting seeds of it all. We cannot atone for all our own sins, nor for those of our fellow human beings. The debt is far too large, and the cost too deep for us. We are unable to eradicate all our personal follies, or fix all our mistakes, the consequences and community those around us, and even touch those far away. We are incapable Properly recognizing, cleansing, and forgiving ourselves. For our own hands are too soiled, and our store of grace is too many. You alone, God, by your universal presence, can discern the cause and effect within the tangled web of our existence and deal with it for our salvation. With your priceless grace, Forgive us our sins and deliver us from evil. Through Christ Jesus, whom you have appointed, our Savior and Lord. Amen. My friends, the good news is meant for the likes of you and me. For us, Christ came. For us, he taught. For us, he suffered and died. And for us, he arose to be the permanent remedy for the infection of sin. Trust in him and you shall be free. Freer than the wind and rain, the moon and the stars. More free than anything else in all creation. For you are now the very children of God. Thanks be to God. Now will you stand if you